Hey everyone, I'm Brad with All in Woodworks. We're on location today and I'm going to show you how to make this armor stand. All in Woodworks! For this build, I decided to use some western red cedar from a local supplier I had in town. This piece was dimensionally four inches by four inches, not your standard, uh, what they call a two by four that's actually three and a half inches square. So it was a little bit big for my chop saw. So I cut it down to a general length and then took it over to the planer. The piece was pretty square, so I actually just planed it on both sides to get it kind of squared up and then uh, cut it down to a little bit easier dimension of uh, three inches. Once I got everything down to the general dimensions, I placed the shoulder and the hip crossbar pieces on the vertical support to mark out where the half lap joints were gonna go. cut out each half lap joint on the table saw with my micro jig cross cut sled and then finish it off with a hammer and chisel. That's the fit I'm looking for. I then taped off the crossbars and marked out the undercut angles for each piece and then cut those at the crosscut sled. Quick pro tip, don't leave your camera right next to your table saw or else it'll fall over. <laughs> Once I got everything repositioned, I finished all the cuts for the legs. I moved to the feet and they had a similar process of uh, milling them down and cutting them on the crosscut sled. And then I wanted to secure them with screws and, and uh, cover those holes with dowels and then drill in some adjustable feet on the base. After a quick test fit, I started getting all the feet in place and screwing them into the bottom of the main vertical piece. Just a rinse and repeat for the other two horizontal pieces. I just didn't get that on camera, but this is what it looks like after it was all glued up. Ah, uh, now it's time for some sanding and sanding, and sanding, and sanding. For the finish, I went with a Shishugiban uh, burn wood technique. While you're watching me burn this stuff, you can always uh, hit subscribe and click that notification button so the next time my other video comes out, you'll see that one too. Thanks for watching. Took a wire brush and cleaned everything off and then got ready for some polyurethane. Did about three coats of clear satin poly and after it's all done, this is what it looks like. The client was looking for an old world look to this piece and I think with the Shoshugi Bond and the green pattern of that cedar, it really made it pop and achieved what they were looking for. Once I got it to its final installation, it really set the piece off and matched really well with everything else that was in the home.
So that's it. That's how you make the armor stand. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. I'm Brad with All in Woodworks. We'll see you next time.